so we've been fighting a drought in Texas. We're uh, just south of Houston, kind of between Houston and Galveston, a small city called Dickinson. Dickinson. So we've been having trouble and it's been dry. It's been really dry. The grass is still green. You can see the grass is still green, but spots are starting to dry out. Grass is not growing. I cut the grass about a week ago and uh, it has not really grown a whole lot. There's some spots sprouting rapid growth i don't know what's going on there or there or even over here we don't have a water leak the water meter is over there but uh it's dry it's really dry when i do cut the grass i haven't been edging along the house to try to keep some of the moisture up against the house this is the east side of the house and you can see the gap between the soil and the foundation just so dry I didn't edge over here or here, but for some reason the grass isn't growing. I did put some grass killer along the cracks. That's why that's kind of brown. Look at that gap. That's crazy. Especially here up against the curb. I mean, this is this is probably the worst around us. I mean, that's that's my hand going in there. That's that's my hand in the gap. Mind the gap. That's the whole whole curb here. Then up the main driveway. So yeah, it's uh, causing the driveway to sink. That's it's sinking which is not good. More gapping. Walk around and show you a few things in the backyard. Uh, actually, we had that fence put in. We had this ornamental fence put in. And I've been having to adjust every, every day. I don't know if you get that. There's these tick marks. Those are moving. And there's uh, some arrow action on there as well. I think down here is where the issue is. I've started to water that. I'm trying to water it every night. And then even these bricks. I mean, these are these are sinking over here. You can see that. Well, oh, oh, right, right there. It's all sinking. This is all from the drought. Our porch has these one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, several posts. And you can see where they were painted on some of them because the concrete is sunk. Now look at this. This isn't good. That's not good at all. You can see there's rotting in that post. Look at the gap. I don't know if the post is moving or if the concrete's moving. That paint movement there, another gap. All these posts have gaps between them and the concrete. And it's dropped almost an inch. This is sinking. All this area, all this area here is sinking. From over there to probably over here has started to go down. I mean, all this uh, contour right here used to be relatively flat. And then the other thing I noticed, new gate, part of the brand new fence. When they left, this opened and closed just fine. It opens, and watch, watch this. It hits on this. It won't close. I, I don't even know if I could. Yeah, to get it to shut, it won't, it won't shut. I gotta, yeah, to get this to close, it's hitting that piece of metal. I gotta pull it apart, get that to close. I don't know if I need to get a, a spreader, something over here to spread these apart, or just wait for rain. I have no idea what to do. It's just, it's kind of nerve-wracking. All this work that we've put in, and all this work we're gonna have to put in. Do y'all know if I thought about getting soaker hoses? It's not too bad over here. I thought about getting soaker hoses. There's not really too much spread over here between the ground and the foundation. But you can see it's got some grounds, got the elephant cracking there. Just not a good situation. And for those of you that love to hate Texas, God is certainly not pissing on us right now. I think he's mad at Kentucky right now, if that's the case. Y'all have any solutions for this? I mean, I don't want to get a outrageous water bill, but I don't know if the sucker hoses would work, especially on that east side and around the foundation. I mean, I don't know if I could run it or if I should run it all the way around. The wife pays the water bill. I'm sure she wouldn't agree to that too much. I wouldn't blame her. I, th I imagine even that was level with the porch, that sidewalk piece there. And look, I mean, that's that's a gap. That's a that's a that's a sinking there. That's maybe six inches. It's still summer out there. Stay cool out there, y'all. School starts in a few weeks. If your kids are outside, which I know you're not. Maybe some of you are fortunate to be out on the water. Even still, drink plenty of water. It is hot and dry.